Okay, at this point, I want to take a moment and talk to you about a feature within the system that's going to help you as you're going throughout this training. It's a feature that we refer to as Quick Links. As you're going through this training, you're going to identify specific pages, specific settings that you want to be able to come back to on a regular basis. And in order to make that easier for you, we have a feature called Quick Links to help you save those as favorite pages within your account. In the upper right-hand portion of your page, you should see a menu, this little chain link icon that you see up here. This menu is your Quick Links menu. Now, you may or may not have Quick Links already on your account. If you don't have any there, don't worry about it. It's super easy to add them, and I'm going to show you how to do that so that you can add your own as you're going throughout this training. So let's say, for example, this caller ID library page, I wanted to save this as a quick link. I just need to click on the Add to Quick Links link. That'll bring up the Add a Quick Link menu with the URL for this specific page. I can give it a title. I can tell the system whether or not I want this link to open the page in a new tab or not. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I can click on the Add a Quick Link. Now in this particular case, you're seeing that I already have a quick link on this account for the caller ID. Now you may have noticed that in the menu before I started to add this, which is fine because I wanted you to see this menu so that you would know that the system is not going to allow you to overcrowd your quick links with a lot of duplicates. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. That'll save the quick link. And if I refresh the page, now, if I go back up to the Quick Links menu, you'll see my new option here, Caller ID Config, is listed here, and the old Caller ID option has been removed. At this point, I can go down and manage my Quick Links, which will take me to a page where I can go and update any existing Quick Links, such as changing the title or setting it to open up in a new tab. Or if there's a Quick Link that I no longer need, I can delete it. Once I delete it, that Quick Links menu will be updated. And that's how easy it is for you to create and manage quick links within your account to help you get back to the pages that you care about most within your account. So as you're going through this training, don't forget to take advantage of the quick links feature. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step.